Hello humans, welcome back to my makeup room. My name is Martha if you've never been here before and I post makeup related videos three times a week. Please subscribe if you like what you're watching. Today we're gonna do another look with my Kaleidos Escape Pod palette. I really wanted to play today with some of the purples and one of these, one or two of these duochrome greens. Aren't they special? I wanna go very dramatic with this today so I'm gonna prime my eyes and we're gonna do those first. Okay, so I'm going to start with the deepest shade first, and this is sort of the color store I'm going to work with. I'm going to start with Exoplanet, which is this dark purpley blue. It's much more cool toned than the other purples. This is a very pinky purple, but I'm going to blend this one out with this, this one out with this one, so hopefully it ends up sort of melding together. And I have a fairly precise little blending brush here. And I'm gonna make it very blown out. Now I'm going to take an even smaller brush and Mardi Gras, which is that pinky purple there, and I'm going to blend out the edges. And I'm going to take that same shade and I'm just going to bring it ahead into more of where my crease socket is. So a little bit lower than I put the other shade. Now I've cleaned off my brush with my color switch and I'm going to take Soiree and blend that out even further, especially on that inner corner. Now I'm going to go back in with my original brush that I used the bluey purple for, and I'm just gonna kind of mix the bluey purple and the pinky purple, and just sort of build up that outer corner. Now I'm gonna use my little detaily brush here again, and just try and blend everything out. Okay, it's time to cut the crease. I might come back and adjust some things. The eyes are not looking the same. I'm gonna take my ABH eye primer and put that on the back of my hand, load up my little brush, and we are gonna make a half cut crease.
Okay, we have a cut crease. So now the lid colors. So I'm gonna go in with the greens. I'm gonna use Galactic Gala on the inner portion and Saturnalia. These are really reflective, it's hard to read. I'm gonna use that more towards the outer portion. So I'm gonna start with Saturnalia. And I'm gonna spray these just because I can feel it falling on my face. Save myself some cleanup later. All right, so we have our shimmers on. Now, I don't think for this look necessarily I would have needed to go in with both greens. You can definitely see there is a subtle difference on the eyes, mostly an undertone. This inner portion is a brighter, limey green, and it almost has a blue sparkle in there. And this is very much a um, classic burnished olive gold tone green but it's very pretty. So now I am going to take my brush again and I'm gonna go in with my deep blue and build up some of that depth and try and blend that into the shimmer. I know it's not gonna really blend, but I'm just patting. I might have to pull out a black. I'm gonna change brushes, see what we can do. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's blending a little bit better. Now I'm gonna take my heavy metal glitter from, Med uh, from Urban Decay, this is Distortion. And I'm going to line that along my cut crease. I just find this adds a little bit of extra definition. And now before we get doing the face, in case something goes wrong, I'm gonna use my Suva Beauty Hydra FX Liner in Aztec. It's this beautiful purple shade. And I'm gonna use that as a winged liner. Now I've never used this before, so I really hope it works. <laughs> I'm not worried about it working, I'm worried about messing up. Okay, we're gonna do a, a brush change. Ooh, that looks like it's gonna transfer. Okay, I got a little bit of transfer up there, so next time I'm going to not open my eyes ever. But that seems to have gone much better with my little liner brush here. I'm just gonna wait for that to dry and then we'll do the other eye. We will fix that later because I bet I'm gonna have to fix something on the other side.
Okay, so you may be able to see the transfer of the liner, but other than that, that went quite well. So I'm just gonna take, let's see, it's on the outer edge. I'm gonna take my little shimmer brush and just try and pack right over top. Problem solved. Okay, I think it's time to go in with the face makeup, which I will speed through right now. So I'm going to start with my waterline and sort of drag it down onto my lash line to give something for the pigments to stick to. So I'm going to take ColourPop Piggy Bank, which is this purple, and put it on the outer portion, and ColourPop Boots and put that on the inner portion. So we're really pulling into that pinky purple, and then I'm going to add some pink to the lower lash line. All right, so I'm going to take a pencil brush, and I'm going to pull in... Mardi Gras, the pinky purple. And I'm gonna run that over the outer portion. And I'm just trying to pull it up to blend that into my upper lash line. Now I'm going to take the pink shade, which is called Flamingo, on my pencil brush. And I'm gonna work on blending that right into the purple. All right, now I tend to sort of blend every which way when I'm doing that, so I'm gonna double up on my eyeliner on the inner corners, in the waterline. Now what shall we do for the inner corner? 
All right, now what I'm gonna do for the inner corner, I think, I think, I'm going to bring Galactic Gala a little bit closer into the inner corner and then go with Scarlet Sonata and that's going to brighten and lighten it up a little bit. Just did a little extra wiggle with my pink brush with no extra pigment. And I think that's the eyes. So I'm going to find some setting spray, some mascara, some eyelashes, a lipstick, and I'll be back. Alright, that's the finished look. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the bell to become a Pavlovian dog, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!